We had an emergency vet visit for Nebula, my leopard. He's just about to enter on in and draw for blood. What is up everyone and welcome back to the channel. I hope all of you guys are having just an absolutely incredible weekend. For those of you that are new here, well, I'm Jacob. Welcome to the channel. Hey, hi, nice to meet you. If you guys saw the title and thumbnail, well, you will know for today's video that we had an emergency vet visit for Nebula, my leopard. We had to rush her into the vet for an emergency and that is all I'm gonna tell you guys. So if you wanna see what happens at the vet visit, why we had to rush her in for this emergency visit, well guys, you are in the right place and we're going to hop right into that. So guys, I just got over here to my vet's office and that is Dr. Harris. He is an expert in exotics and I've known you since what? I was like six years old maybe? Six, five. Five or six years old, I've been coming to Dr. Harris for birds, reptiles, everything and as you guys know, Nebula's been having her eye issues. Um, she just had a lot of problems and today we're here to draw some blood. She also has some kind of a hematoma, a giant lump that needs to be drained. So what are we gonna be doing here today? Oh, you didn't tell me I was gonna be on camera. Well, well first we're gonna use our dart gun. Yeah, look. So look, it's got a laser. See the laser. We got the laser pointer now. Laser guided dart gun to Amazing. make sure to make sure we deliver this sedative to the cat safely effectively safely for both of us actually yeah because nebula is a little crazy today so normally we hold her down and give the sedative but she's got a full set of claws and she, because of her eyes she's a little more nervous about everything she can't really see everything that well and she's kind of focused on the laser so dr harris i'm gonna i'm gonna leave it up to you to do right. to do your thing well we're just gonna we're gonna kind of be patient and wait until she gets into a good position I need to be able to get a good look uh -huh. at her rump. Yeah. But I want to make sure I get into muscle and not into bone or hip or anything like that. Exactly. Now, if any of you guys are in the South Florida area, I know a lot of you guys are in South Florida. Oh, we, so she's getting into a good spot. Okay. Okay. That's it. We don't Arms. waste time. We don't. Nebula. We retrieved the dart, and it looks like. Looks like the complete dose went through. Yep. Looks like it went through, so. That's the plan. Uh, there we go, we did that perfect. Now, this is the proper um, way to do this. So we sedated her, and we're, you know, it's gonna take her, what, a couple minutes to kinda go to sleep? Five minutes before she starts wondering where she is, and about 10 minutes before we can start really working with her. The big thing to notice in what we just did is, we didn't hesitate. We waited for her to get in the right position. Exactly. And when she was there, the dart flew. If we, if we question the placement, if we hesitate for a moment, the dart will arrive and the cat has departed. So. Yep, exactly. So Dr. Harris knows what he's doing. He's the expert and I know a lot of you guys are in the South Florida area. So if you guys have birds, tortoises, turtles, exotic cats and you need a great vet, well, Dr. Harris is your guy. I'm gonna be linking him down below. Um, give him a look. I'm gonna be linking his info down below, Instagram, the whole nine and Nebula. We're gonna get you okay. We're gonna do some blood work. We're gonna make sure you're okay. Again, she's got this weird lump like right here on her side. Now, are we gonna, you think we're gonna shave it to kind of drain it? Well, we're gonna shave it first just so I can better visualize it, and then we're gonna lance it. Lance and, um, it. And I'm not convinced, you keep saying hematoma. I'm not convinced it's a hematoma. It could be a sebaceous cyst, it could have just water in it, could even be a little abscess of some kind. But, okay. Um, one way or the other, we're gonna open it up, clean it up, and figure it out. Exactly, guys, so if you guys wanna know what's inside of her abscess, what it could possibly be, well, guys, stay tuned. <laughs> stay tuned, and when Nebula is knocked out, when she's asleep, I'll be back with all of you. So Nebula now is becoming a little bit slow. This is what happens when you give her, what do we give her, ketamine? Uh, no, Chilazole and Eutorphanol. Okay, so we gave her Telazol and I'm not sure what that is. Eutorphanol is a morphine-like derivative. Okay, so we gave her that and now you can see she's starting to slow on down. So she's just going to kind of inch along here and I'd say in about a minute or two, she's going to be quite calm and she's going to go to sleep. Even though she's still moving around, she's tripping. Um, yeah. She doesn't know where she is. She, She's not really aware of what's going on around yeah. her. See, she's just pretty loopy, and you can see just how bad her eyes have become. Just about a month and a half ago, they just had a slight haze, but they were still brown, and now they're almost entirely ice blue. 
So Nebula is now knocked out. She is on the table and Dr. Harris is uh, getting to work. So basically what we're doing right now is we're doing some routine nail trimming. So you can see Nebula's nails are nice and sharp. So we're just giving them a light little trim. Um, so they're just not as sharp when we're handling her. It's safer for us. Um, and they'll grow back in about a month. I mean, with her, actually, it's only about two weeks. And then they're back to being razor sharp again. So I guess we have the trimmer now. And the hematoma is... Other it's side. the other side. That's yeah. Other side. So we're going to flip her on over just like this. And right here. Found it. The little bump is there. Okay, mama. There we go. Nice and steady. Perfect trim is always important. Yep. Yeah, that is that. Yeah. Now, if you guys can see, right here is where that little bump is, that little dot, abscess, whatever it is, we're going to find out what it is. So you can see just how cool the fur is. We've got the little black, we've got the yellow, so we're going to put some of that right on the bag. Thank you, thank you. And now we're prepping the area um, to check out what this abscess is. Um, it's gonna, we're going to be, I'm not sure what, what, doc, what Dr. Harris has in mind. Not sure what he has in mind, but this is that area. You can see that bump right there. Um, but we're going to find out what it is. So first thing is first, um, we prepped the area with betadine. So he wiped it down with betadine to make sure there's no bacteria. So it's nice and clean. So one thing I do want to know is you can God. see just how relaxed and calm Nebula is. That's the biggest thing when you're sedating these cats is you don't want them to be distressed. You can see, if you look really closely, you can see her breathing is nice and calm. It's not labored. That is exactly what we want. And she's in a great position. She is being great. She's doing well. And we've prepped the area with betadine to make sure there's no bacteria. So that is this stuff right there. So I'm sure if you guys know about animals, you've used that stuff before. But I'm really curious to see what this lump is. So for all the pimple popper fans, now's your moment. All right, now's the moment. Oh, basically we're gonna, that is gonna get grown in a lab and in about a week we're gonna see what it is, if there's any bacteria, what it could possibly be. I don't know if you have anything to add, Dr. Harris. Um, it could be sterile. Could be where she bumped into something and damaged the tissue underneath. Could be where she even clawed herself. Yeah. Could be a little abscess. But you'll notice that was very dry material. That was yeah. not, that was not runny pus like you see in the normal pimple popper episodes. Yeah. That was dry material, honestly. I love watching that stuff. I love watching squeezing pimples and seeing stuff come out. But what I don't like is seeing that on this leopard. So again, we're going to be culturing it, seeing what happens, and see what see what we got. So this is the nasty material that came out. Honestly, it's almost gray looking. It's very strange looking. And let's feel it. Oh, it feels like clay. Feels uh, I don't know that I'd do that without gloves. Uh, really? <laughs> <laughs> we don't know what that is. Yeah, you, yeah. That probably wasn't the best idea, but if you guys have seen me on the channel, I jump into black sludge ponds, I yeah. pop ticks with my bare hands. It's 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 pretty nasty. It, it's good, it's good video. It's not it's just not good medicine. Yeah, not good. So the final thing for today's visit is Nebula is just starting to wake on up. You can see she's active, but she's still very slow. So we're gonna put her in her crate because when she wakes up, we want her. We don't want her to have full mobility because she's gonna be a little bit out of it. So we just want to kind of slide her in the crate. We want to keep her somewhat confined so she doesn't hurt herself. So this is exactly why we're going to have her in this crate and we're going to try and prop her head Push up. Push her butt in the back. And, and keep, her keep her head forward. So we're just going to swap her around and maybe build this up a little so she can rest her head. You can see she's starting to gain consciousness again, but she's still all out of it. I mean, Doc, how long do you think she's going to be like this? Here, in another 15, 20 minutes, she'll be ready to come Here out. you go, Mama. So we have got her in there and well, that is going to end today's episode. I hope all of you guys did enjoy watching today's video draining. What would you call this? Tumor, abscess, not a tumor, it's an abscess, cyst. Cyst, eye meds, blood check. 
Yeah, whatever you want to. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> whatever you guys want to call it. We did that today. It was absolutely insane. So again, thank you so much, Dr. Harris, for um, helping me out. I'm going to be Imagine. linking all of his info down below. So if you guys have exotic animals in the South Florida area and you need an exotic vet, well, Dr. Harris is your man right there. I'm going to be linking yeah. it down below. You see that right there? Right there? Yeah, that's it right there. So guys, <laughs> if you enjoyed today's video, please make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Comment down below a prayer for Nebula that she will heal and that she's going to be just all right. And guys, if you're not subscribed yet, you want to see more of Nebula. You want to see tigers, lions, turtles, and tortoises, and all kinds of crazy animals. Well, guys, all you got to do is go right now, hit the subscribe button, tap that little notification bell, and you all be notified whenever I post.